Hello, good evening, how are you? Today's video is going to be a record collection. See, is that so hard? To just, like, say something seriously? Just, like, tell it like it is without having to add a spin of a joke or something to it? Inspiration for this video struck me uh, awake out of bed this morning at 12 noon. 12 noon. I practically sprinted out of the house, like, what I miss? Ended up at a record store, and I found the one record that I've been looking for for a very long time. Not because they never have it, they always have it, but it's just like, limited edition, $70,000! This time it was going to die, my camera. Awesome. But this time it was only six ninety eight, and it's a 70s, 80s pressing, some marks, but I didn't care. Spruce Springsteen Border Run. Border run? Border run. Guys, when you cross the border illegally, make sure you just run. Just go for it. Bruce Springsteen, Born to Run. Because in my opinion, Thunder Road is like one of the best songs ever written. It's sheer poetry. <gasps> Look how pretty he is. The bows. Well, yeah, the th thing about um, Bruce Springsteen that I love is um, his music. Yeah, the thing about Bruce Springsteen that I love is his, mu his music. What do you like? What do you, you like him? What do you like about him? His music. Dope, me too. Bruce is a big, uh, big influence on me as of late because, um, my mom really hates him. <laughs> Funny, she's probably gonna be walking through this door, this door, the door of consciousness, through my front door. I should probably get through this pretty quick because I think the last thing my mom ever wants to see is to walk into her daughter's unkempt house and see I haven't done laundry in six months, apparent from that pile behind the camera. And then, then there's me in the corner in front of a camera holding a Bruce Springsteen record. That might kill her. That might end it. This is the latest addition to my collection, which is still, you know, in the works. It's a work in pro progress. I think because I have a kind of shitty record player, it's holding me back. Someone once commented, Oh, you have a Crosley? Rest in peace to your records. Okay, buy me a new one then. And also, it's not gonna be the record player that ruins my records. It's gonna be my complete lack of care, all right? And the fact that I'm susceptible to dropping fragile objects. Thanks, though. Same day, same time, this morning, I picked up Bob Dylan Infidels. Everyone loves 60s, 70s Dylan. 80s Dylan, late 80s Dylan is where it's at. This album and freaking No Mercy do yourself a favor and experience 80s Dylan at his finest. Also, he apparently came out with an album this year. I listened to it this morning. It's very Tony Bennett. And you know I couldn't leave without that odd number, so I picked up three records this morning, and that's why we're here today. I spent $20.98 on this, but I think it's so worth it. It's a Harry Nelson album produced by Ringo Starr from the film, which I haven't seen but will definitely be checking out, Son of Dracula. Hello? And it says it's the original 1974 pressing. Nice shape. Uh, yeah. I think so, my good bitch. Oh, that's Ringo right there. That's Ringo. That's, that's Ringo? Do you guys know the Beatles? Like, have you ever literally heard of the Beeble Beebles? Have you heard of the Beebles? Bite it! This is me. This is me, sorry. You guys know how much I love to put my lime in my coconut. Robert John. About a, mm, two months ago, I picked up four records of artists, with the exception of Todd, my baby Todd. I had never heard of these people. Oh my God, is my mom here? 7.15, lol. No! Take your time. Get a coffee. Relax. You don't want to see this, mom. Bruce is in the house. So I found this artist called Robert John and just like the whole, his whole persona really attracted me. I was like, this guy is easygoing and I want to know what he's singing about. He's like so confident that I'll buy this, you know? Like in his eyes, he's like, you want this. It happened. The inevitable happened. Things die. But the essence of Robert John never will. So I put it on and he is, I think he's Canadian. I, Yeah, I think he's from Ontario. Oh, meant to do this, but uh. That'll, that'll do. It's practically disco. That's what keeps us together. It's the first track on this album. It's an absolute banger. Banger. Do yourself a favor and check out Robert John. There he is. There's John just walking. Looks like somewhere in Hollywood. Honestly, he's just doing his thing. That's why we love him. This was, again, cover alone and also it was $3, but 
This is Chris DeBerg at the end of a perfect day. You got a woman lounging in her beautiful tiled bathroom. Her nylons are on the ground. She doesn't care. She had a long day. Rip them off. Her hair dryer is a plentiful distance from the wet tub. Homegirl's looking out for her health. I'm guessing that's Chris. I'm guessing that's Chris. I don't know. This whole thing just like really invited me in. It was like, stay a while. Oh, then there's our boy. <laughs> Bright eyed and bushy eyebrowed. I think he's English is most assuredly the British equivalent of the French chanteur, telling tales and painting word and sound pictures in dramatic and evocative fashion in a voice that is at once fierce and forceful or tenderly expressive as the song demands. Born in Argentina and educated in Marlborough, England and Trinity College, Dublin, blah, 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 whatever. Cool album. I'm definitely gonna listen to it more. And I picked up Shirley Elkhart, Let Me Down Easy. The reason I picked this up is because it was produced by Michael Jackson and I was so intrigued by that and she is very soulful. She does a really cool Fleetwood Mac cover, right? Yeah, Say You Love Me. It's really beautiful. Again, this was only $3, so I was like, why not? And I'm pretty sure she's from Toronto. Yeah, produced by Michael Jackson at Sounds Interchange, Toronto. I just thought that was really cool. I mean, like, why? <laughs> I've never heard of her before yet. M Mike was like, Let's take her on. Let's make her a star. And finally, now we're getting into now we're getting into the nitty gritty. I got I picked up Healing by Todd Rundgren. Todd, Todd. I feel like not enough people talk about Todd. Let's keep the conversation going. I'd like to open up a dialogue. It said it's time to make the world a little wiser. There are enough destroyers and criticizers. The world needs a healer. I think in the same go, I also got this Elton John album, 21 at 33. I've never heard of it before, but I love Elton and I loved this. I wish that I came up with this album art. I just love the color and I guess they're playing 21. Frickin' record heads are gonna be yelling at me in the comments like, what, you don't know his, his uh, popular track not specified on the back? I just thought that was really cool and I actually, I have it displayed in my room. So I look like a huge Elton fan. It's a uh, 1980. Great year. This record is so good, but it makes me very stressed every time I look at it because I got it when I was like 17 or 18. And I remember every time I play it on my record player, it skips. So the first time I did that, I brought it back to the store. It was within like a day of buying it. And I was like, hey, this skips. Can I get another one? And they put it on their record player and it don't skip. It don't skip a beat. It doesn't hesitate. It plays flawlessly. The room, the energy in the room, everyone was loving it. And I was like, you're welcome, you're welcome, you're welcome. So they're like, nothing's wrong with it. There you go. And I brought it home and it skipped again. And it also skips on other people's records. So I curse the day and I rue you, underground music. Michael Jackson Thriller. I have to rip through these now because my parents, I think, are outside waiting in the car because I told them not to come in. <laughs> Reunited. And it feels so good. Hello. I saw Fleet Foxes few weeks ago in Vancouver and they put like all of this album. I was really blessed that day. Most people know her for her Betty Davis eyes, but I know her for her voyeurism. Let's start that over. This is a good album. Kim looks fierce as hell and it's really good. It's super 80s, super 80s rock, 1982. It's a deep cut, I gotta say. It's a deep cut taken out of the corner here, so. I picked up a this Donovan record that is falling apart. <laughs> Don't fall apart on me tonight. Bob Dylan Infidels. Uh, because I really love the song Catch the Wind. I think it's a really beautiful song and Donovan's really cool. Donovan? Dolphins. Dolphins are dope. This is Do You Hear Me Now from Donovan. I have a couple Steve Martin comedy albums. This one's Wild and Crazy Guy and I think I also have Comedy Is Not Pretty. This is the album that all the Steve Martin posters that I have in my room are from. I love Steve. Um, I don't know if I'll have time to like get to them all, so I'm just gonna preface and let you know right now that I have maybe too many Barbara Streisand albums. But this one's the best, and it was 99 cents. The way we were. One of the most beautiful love songs and heartbreaking love stories of all time. Just saying. It is essential to have a little bit of Edith and a little bit of Judy. This is an Alvin Bishop album called Struttin' My Stuff. First of all, get it, Alvin. And I picked it up because it has one of my favorite songs of all time on it, which is Fooled Around and Fell In Love. I'm actually not really familiar with any of his other songs at all, but uh, get it. Okay, this, this is the first album I ever got and it's 
Rocky Mountain High John Denver. Hasn't been played in a while. And I think I fucking ruined the record though because um, I was 13 and I only wanted it to like tack on my ceiling. I had, I think I had this, a Pat Benatar record and a Culture Club, Karma Chameleon. I'm not dating myself. <laughs> I just loved those oldies. And I just wanted to display them on my wall. Like, look, I, lo I love music. But I would dare destroy John. I'm gonna have to play this and see if I fucked it up. It doesn't look too crazy. We might be twins. This is a prized possession. It's a first printing of Joni Mitchell, Ladies of the Canyon. I also have Ladies of the Canyon and Clouds. Joni Mitchell, one of my favorite songwriters. Big musical influence for me, I would say, in case you were wondering. I'm not even joking. Bring this to every party you go to and you'll blow the roof off of that function. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I bought this. This is a spoken word poetry album by uh, Rod McCune. Sleep walk, sleep, sleep warm. Thanks, Rod. I will. I think I bought this from my mom as like kind of a joke, cause but she likes him, but they don't have a record player, and then I never gave it to her. I'll give it to her in like a minute. The Smiths, hat full of hollow, just a classic. Honestly, if you don't even know them, just like put it in your record collection. But I do though. I do. I know them. I love them. I love them. Yeah, I love this mess. Cue all your Zoe Deschanel comments. Yeah, okay, so I guess there was time for me to get to it. I saw this in the record store this morning, but it had a different cover and I was like, do I have that? Like, should I get it? Um, thank God I didn't, cause then I'd have, then I'd have double and nobody wants that. Nobody wants that. I wouldn't want that. Oh God, no. Hi hey girls. Uh, this is the Tallest Man on Earth album. Sometimes the blues is just a passing bird. It's a line from The Dreamer, which is a great Tallest Man on Earth song. And now it's, I'm just like realizing that, never mind. I just had an internal, like like a light bulb just went on. How many records do you know that are named after a lyric of a song that's on the record? I have some thinking to do. Two Beach Boys albums, not the ones that I really want. I want Pet Sounds and Smile, but these are great. I mean, today is a great album and I think this is like a live concert album or I'm Dumb. Brian Wilson. Can we talk about Brian Wilson? I want my BB heads in the comments talking about my boy Bri right now. Another one, just like bring it to the party. I'm not joking. CSN! No, no why yet. Sweet Judy Blue Eyes is another one of my fave songs. This is also like a really great album. This might be one of my favorite albums. Look at, look at him just peeking through. He's like, do you like my record? Did they coined the term golden hour after this photo was taken, asking for a friend and also myself. My mom's here for sure. Just an essential, just an essential, just an essential, just saying. This is a great autumn album. The person in my Q and A that asked what's my favorite autumn album, this is definitely up there. Joan Armatrading. Her album shows some emotion. My friend Bella told me about this. She may have even gotten this for me. It's outstanding. So I picked up uh, Walk Under Ladders equally as good. She has some soul. She has some funk. I love Joan. If you want to expand, like find a new artist that you maybe haven't heard of. I don't know. Maybe you have. I'm sorry for bringing it up. There she is. There she is. I wonder if she misses her neighbor, John and, and boy George. She knows what I did to her. She won't even look at me. Crimes of Passion, Pat Benatar. If this has hit me with your best shot, yeah, it does. I'm sorry, I'll play you. I won't hang you on my wall. Nobody puts Pat on the wall. I don't think this is mine, but like, Banger. At this point, I've honestly run out of things to say, so I'm just gonna like let you bathe in the glory of Graceland. Speaking of my mom, this album really reminds me of my mom. Also, Gilmore Girls. This is maybe one of the best albums of all time. This is me when I was 17. This is this is all I knew. Again, not mine, but I'm not complaining. Boz. This year for Halloween, I know I said that I'm having an it themed party, but I changed it to Tom, Tom Brady, Tom Brady themed. I love sports. I changed it to Tim Curry's greatest hits. So everyone has to come dressed as a character that relates to a movie that Tim Curry was in. And I really want Haya to be Dr. Frankenfurter and or Matt, not opposed. And I'm just gonna go all out decorating. Let me just tell you the room in which we are sitting will be the mansion. There's a light. Uh, this is a Merry Mancini Christmas. I just want to take this time to say Merry Christmas, guys. Merry Christmas to all my loyal subscribers and to Margaret Wagon, Margaret Wagonis, Margaret Wagon Mayonnaise, Margaret Mayonnaise. 
Merry Christmas, Margaret. Thank you so much for this album. And last but definitely not least, I'd like to present to you my favorite soft rock band from the 70s. <gasps> my parents are here. Yeah, come in. It sticks too. It's got my favorite song, Lady, on it, and that's all I'm gonna say. Yeah, so what? I have to make a living, so what? You heard? Wait, what did you say? This is her job. Thank you. And for that, I'm gonna give you this record. Rod McEwen, Sleep McEwen. Warm. I love Rod McEwen. I know. He just spoken word, right? It's oh wait, you, it's music. It's, yo, he sings. Rod sings. It's a, yeah, remember? TV. Yeah, did I have a TV? Is that yours? Or... Oh, I forgot the best album ever. Oh, Late Bloomer. You didn't know what it was at first, did I, you? You know what I thought it was? What? It was something from the 70s. You're like, oh, that's my best. Oh, oh, I don't like that one. That... No, it's one of your albums. Yeah, I'm doing a record collection. So what? I'm s I'm like a music gal. So what? Taliki ne. Talking heads. Oh. <laughs> Oh, I love that one. I knew it! I have that one. Shown Armor Training. Oh, you guys awesome. know her? Of course. This is awesome. Her. I know. That is Lou Reed. Oh, come that on. is Lou. That is Lou Reed. <laughs> Very funny. That is Lou Reed. The Beach Do Boys I? don't exist. Yeah. The Beach Boys. Okay. That's on tape. Happy days are here again. That's a song on the album. She's not even alive. A lot of people aren't alive anymore, anymore Dad. It's just lying. True. Oh, you got fooled around? Yeah, baby. Oh, baby. Fleet foxes suck. Get out of my house. Pardon me. Yeah. Jelly bean. Michael Jackson. Oh, what? What's his good is, one? Though. Christa Berg, yeah. You know him? Of course. Are you kidding me? Castle Wall is the best album. Yeah. Sad eyes. Sad, Sad eyes. eyes. And we also know this that song. one. This Turn one is so the other way. Way. Yep. Guys. The dill. The dill. Infidel. <laughs> <laughs> the Dylan Fidel. No, anyway, a little bit of music humor for you guys. Please subscribe. I have to go entertain Work. my parents now and uh, listen to them uh, complain about how dirty my house is. Can I have some of your bleach? What? To drink? Yeah, pour me a cup. No. Ba -dum -ba. Oh, I say it.